What's happening guys, it's your buddy Grizz here, bringing you some good news for Dirty Bomb players. He's Phoenix, he's hard to keep down, and you can get him for free if you log on to Dirty Bomb during the week of October 28th. So, next week. That's right. All you have to do is log on next week and you will get Phoenix for free, people. How awesome is that? The giveaway is meant to help promote the Containment War update, which is supposed to be the biggest update we've seen for Dirty Bomb yet. So that's coming out next week and is going to, to contain one new map, one new merc, one new game mode, and of course the introduction of factions to the game's lore. We'll talk about factions in just a sec, but first, if you don't already know, Phoenix is one of the toughest, toughest medics to keep down. His healing pulse and self-revive abilities can keep you and your teammates on the push and help keep your team uh, keep the pressure on the other team. Being able to revive yourself can really surprise some of your enemies and can really turn the tide of the fight sometimes. Catching people by surprise after they think they've killed you is probably one of the most satisfying things you can do in this game, for me at least. Um, and for me, I'm, I'm really glad I purchased Phoenix because he was totally worth the 50,000 credits. But yeah, what happens if you already spent your hard-earned 50k credits to unlock Phoenix like I did? Fear not, they're not going to be discriminating against anybody. Anybody who may have already purchased Phoenix can expect a rare Obsidian Loadout card for the Tough as Nails medic, as well as one Elite Case A and one Elite Case B as a gift. Also, pretty awesome. I was actually on the fence about buying Phoenix, but it was this little bit of news that actually made me pull the trigger. I think I'd much rather have the Obsidian Loadout card and the two free Elite Cases, if I'm being completely honest here. They constantly change up the rotation of available mercs already, so I'm glad I have another medic besides Aura that I can use all the time. Aura's great, but I think Phoenix is just a wee bit better. Like he says, he's tough to keep down. So there you go guys, the choice is up to you. Either buy him before next week and get the Obsidian Loadout card and two free Elite cases, or just save your cash for something else and you'll get him for free anyway. Remember though, you do have to actually log in next week to get him. It's not an automatic everybody gets him type deal. This is meant to get people playing after the new update drops, so don't forget to actually hop on and play. Uh, I say play too because this update is supposed to have a lot of new content. I don't really want to go over the whole Containment War update and its contents really in this video though. The purpose of this video was really just to let you guys know about the promotion itself, the free stuff you can get if you log in and play next week. But real quick, let's just, in case you don't know what, what's all in the update, I'll list off what we know about it in bullet point form. If you'd like to hear a nice in-depth analysis of what's in the update, I found a great video by a guy named Rempsey. Rempsey? I don't know, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Rempsey. Uh, link will be in the description and there will be an annotation that you can click on right here. And if you uh, go watch his video if you want to get uh, a little more granular info about the update, because he does a really good job on it. But yeah, real quick, here are the deets. The update is going to contain one new map, one new merc, one new game mode, and the introduction of factions to the game's lore. What are factions? Factions are just the names given to the attacker and defender sides to give the game a little more backstory. So apparently the uh, attackers are is a company Hello. named Jackal, who are hellbent on stealing technology from the defenders, the CDA. CDA stands for Central Disaster Authority, and they also, the, the both sides, they hire mercs to defend or try to steal the technology from the other side. So there you have it, two rival companies who hire mercs to uh, do their dirty work, I guess. All right. The new merc is not yet known 100%, I don't think, unless there was some post I don't know about, but it has been highly speculated that this guy will be named Stoker. Stoker is a support character as he sports a deployable ammo station, but also sounds like he'll be quite an effective defender as he carries a Molotov grenade that will light up an area with high damage dealing fire. Don't step in your own flames either though, because uh, apparently it will deal heavy damage to Stoker himself as well. The new map has been 100% confirmed, it's called Dome, and if you want to check out what it looks like, go watch that video from Rempsey, because he shows you an overview of the map from spectate mode. All I can say is that it looks cool, and I'm just so pumped to be finally getting a new map, you have no idea. This is what this game is really hurting for, new maps. Enough with the new mercs already. Not that I don't appreciate them, but just make some new, nap some new maps, guys. We need them. 
Finally, the new game mode is actually not that new at all. <laughs> it's the execution game mode that they allowed people to play on certain weekends up to this point. It was known as Execution Weekends. Now the game mode will be fully integrated into the game, so you can go play Execution whenever you want. This is great news too, because the mode is really fun. I only got to play it like once, I think. Uh, it kind of has a search and destroy feel to it, where if you die, you have to wait until the next round to respawn. But that's pretty much it for uh, what I wanted to say in this video. I'm really looking forward to the update, looking forward to getting my free stuff. Let me know what you guys think about the update in the comments below. Let's get a discussion started here, guys. What do you guys think the uh, the game really needs? I'm, I'm of the mind that it really needs new maps. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed hearing about how you can get Phoenix for free next week. I'm looking forward to my Obsidian loadout card and uh, Elite cases next week as well. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, then please finish it off by hitting that like button down below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you became my buddy and hit that subscribe button, friend. My name's Grizz, it's been a slice, and I'll see you all in the near future.